Hi, so today we're looking at one of the new breed of advanced, powerful publishing uh, platforms that we've got available. This one's ClickFunnels. And because I'm not, I haven't had the opportunity to, to use ClickFunnels myself, I've got Brian McFarlane. Brian is uh, part of the pro group and he's been using this quite a bit recently. So Brian has very kindly agreed to give us a bit of a whistle stop tour. So we're going to be looking at what it does and import, more importantly, where and when you might use this. Okay, so Brian, uh, thank, thank you again for uh, taking the time to show us around. Good afternoon, Ben. Hi. Uh, so I, I'm just, what I wanted to do first do is just briefly give you an overview of um, uh, why, why I chose ClickFunnels and, and why I think it's the best choice um, for, for what we do. Um, I, obviously, for the business that I'm in, um, I have to produce a lot of landing pages for clients. I'm not um, particularly... Um, I'm marketing savvy, but I'm not particularly a, a good programmer, so that's not really in my skill set. So I started to look for solutions out there that would allow me to um, quickly put up professional landing pages without having to do any heavy programming. And um, I, that wasn't necessarily the case with applications like Unbounce and landing pages. Um, and um, you know, when you want to be able to adjust some, an element of, uh, on the page and with a drag and drop uh, WYSIWYG editor, most of these applications didn't had limitations on what you could do with them and didn't allow for uh, an intuitive interface that you could easily just create things. So, mm. with that being said, um, what I wanted to do is take you through a live sample of a real client um, that I have right now um, that we've created a simple two-step uh, landing page for. So with that said, this is the interface um, for ClickFunnels, the, the main dashboard where all your accounts would be held. For this particular account, uh, I believe they currently sell it for $97 a month uh, as, uh, as of this date. Uh, you have up to 10,000 visits with the account. You can create up to 40 pages and you can create up to 10 funnels with this particular account. Okay, so that's like no. a, max, a maximum of 40 pages, 10 funnel, or 10 funnels, um, right. 10,000 visits a month. Exactly. <laughs> and I think they obviously have a tiered uh, a pricing model that you can obviously go to the clickfunnels.com uh, website. And, and obviously, at the end of this uh, session, Ben can give you a link to that. And that will you know, take you there to get uh, information on, on the pricing structure if you're, if you're interested in pursuing this later. Yeah. So... With that being said, um, so let's just have a quick look at one of the existing funnels that I've set up, just to give you uh, an overview of the capabilities. So this is a, a simple opt-in with a thank you page follow-up. And in this interface, you can see quickly below that you have the overall, and obviously this campaign just started on October 3rd, and actually we're not even it's not officially started. We've, we've got the landing page uh, set up. We're in the approval stage with the client. And as soon as the client signs off on this particular landing page that I'm showing you, uh, then we'll be able to activate the AdWords campaign for it and, and obviously do some split testing. So as you can see, we're just testing it right now. And we've already got an 8.3% conversion rate showing up. And um, you can set up split testing with this. I haven't really created one, but you can here. Um, you've got an email component here, so you can set up your email marketing, and you can connect it to applications like uh, uh, Mailchimp, uh, Infusionsoft, many many of the the, the applications that you used to um, having integration with. And the major bonus for me is the ability to post this to WordPress to be able to take my uh, landing pages, and uh, once you click here, it's going to create an iframe. And then you just simply take this iframe and copy and paste it into your text tab landing page, and that will automatically create it. Um, obviously, I'll tell you guys a little bit later on in this uh, video uh, the process that I use to uh, get around a workaround that uh, ClickFunnels has in place where you have to create a custom uh, 
white page to support your uh, iframe, which I find, again, it's, it's a technical difficulty that some people will encounter that may cause them grief that I've, I've found a workaround. So, um, so that's it. I mean, that's, and, and then now if we want to start editing this actual page, normally what we would do is we, from the start, we would just simply create a funnel. It would give us a standard uh, design and then what I've done here is I've gone in and added in uh, specific elements so I put in the logo of the client which is here uh, it's just a question of just uh, going into the editor and uploading the image just as simple as this upload image uh, and once you up click on upload the image you'll see that you you'll have a list of images here and then you just add the image to to the uh, the page and it will show up in the background here mm -hmm. or sorry the logo will show up here and then we go so the other element that I put in for this particular campaign was uh, provided by a service called call rail which is a trackable phone number um, the beauty of this is call rail gives you up to 10 local phone numbers you can also get a 1-800 number with their service it works in both Canada and the United States um, I know that uh, that um, for Ben, his being in the UK, I'm not sure if CallRail provides service, but there are similar services available in the UK if you're in the UK. Um, but essentially, the, the beauty of this, uh, CallRail allows you to create an Im embeddable tracking code um, in the settings of your website that will enable you to track this in Google Analytics if you set up goals for phone calls. And we also will set up a goal for tracking the, the thank you page that is part of this form. So that's the beauty of that. Um, all these, every single field that's here is editable. So if you go into other applications like lead pages, some areas are very fixed. You can't adjust anything. You can't change the color of a background. You can't change an icon. It has very um, granular detail if you're not happy with this. If I want to change the specific color of the, the button to my particular branded uh, color, I can do so. In this case, um, for the client, they wanted the headboard, which is in the background here, they wanted it to be the same color as the text. So what did I do? I just took a sampling of that color and put in, adjusted the, the aesthetic so that it, it matched up with the brand aesthetic. I mean, that, that's, um, that's actually a really good design point, Brian, you know, too. That's yeah. something that I'll very often do is actually start with a photo. If, if I'm you know, trying to pick a color scheme for my theme, if I want to customize it, if I've got a photo, then I'll, mm -hmm. I will first look at that, at that main um, cover photo to try and pick yep. out a few colors. And if you've got Photoshop, you can pixelate your image in Photoshop and it, it'll actually reduce it to a certain number of squares. That's a really nice, neat little trick. Yeah. And one of the issues that I ran into, which was a little bit of a technical glitch with this particular platform, was, example, I'm editing this button. And see this area here where it says scroll option? I wanted to see it's got a drop-down menu of, of the actions that you want. So I wanted this particular, uh, uh, this particular button instead of going through to the form or the pop-up, I decided that I just wanted to scroll to the opt-in area, which is further up on the page. So I saved it. And then if I go into preview here, and I loaded up my page, if I scroll down to where this is, let me just go down. So you can see this is how the page would actually look to the viewers. Mm -hmm. um, so if I go down, I'll just click on this. And you can see the the scrolling effect is not happening. It's not when I click on this, it should just simply scroll up to this position and allow me to fill in the form. So there are a few little bugs. Um, obviously, um, the, the software is not absolutely perfect, but it's getting really close. And um, those those little bugs, um, you know, just put in a ticket for them, and uh, they seem to get resolved. They're pretty good at, at responding. Um, I put in a ticket this morning and they already, you know, they, they responded and I expect to get an answer tomorrow on uh, resolving that little issue. Hmm. And obviously, you know, if I was a programmer, I could go in and probably fix that little, that little issue um, pretty easily. 
but yeah. I'm not. But I, I was just thinking I'm, I'm one thing to be patient. Yeah, one thing you might try is literally just just put in a pound sign on its own mm -hmm. as as the link. Um, that may that may work. You'd have to do that in the editor. But it's it's really interesting. I'm I'm really interested in this editor because there's there's a kind of general rule that the more control and flexibility you have, the more complexity you 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 know comes along with it, and therefore the bigger the learning curve. Now, what we're finding is that the very best um, products or platforms or editors that that we're finding now. Um, they don't seem to suffer as as much as you know some of the other ones. The user interfaces are so well designed that it really doesn't feel like there's any learning curve at all. I've certainly found that because I've I, I haven't used this one, but I've used Thrive Content Builder um, recently, yeah. which I'm you know very very much a fan of. Um, and you know, but what's interesting about ClickFunnels, I think, compared to particularly lead pages, is I think you alluded to it earlier on. Lead pages doesn't let you insert your own stuff, your own content in there. It gives you a template and you can edit the content, but you can't add new stuff in there. So easily. Well, this is it. Like if you want to add visual elements, if you want to change the background color of something, if you want to brand it or make it your own, uh, lead pages makes it that process more difficult because they only give you a, a certain level of flexibility. Unbounce gives you flexibility, but requires you to to have um, uh, at least a strong knowledge in HTML and CSS, and um, to enable you to to do customization. Um, the difference with ClickFunnels is it gives the user, the layman, the person who is just just new to this this like myself uh, of working with these kind of applications. A very easy, intuitive way to build a professional-looking landing page without, you know, uh, without bleeding about it. And the other aspect here is it gives someone like yourself, Ben, who has 25 years' experience, the ability to um, to do very micro changes yeah. and be if, able to, if, to do if things I, at, if at I wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. If you I, wanted to. I mean, yes. I, I, when I, I completely redid the whole web design from scratch theme the other weekend, and that yeah. literally has 20 lines of CSS. That's the only custom CSS that I've done. So the, the bottom line is that even if you do have the skills and you are capable of doing this detailed <coughs> customization, do you even need to? Yeah, you know, I have those skills, and I really don't tend to use those skills if I can avoid using it. So yeah, very yeah. very impressive on this. So what are we looking at now? So we wanted to talk briefly about integration with third-party software. Um, in this case, what we're trying to do is obviously um, part of our process, if we were going back to uh, the methodology that, we were, that uh, you were teaching, Ben, about circle review and about mon mon monitoring and iteration, we really want to understand and be able to track all of what we're doing here. So, uh, Google Google Code for uh, for tracking this particular outcome is that that we want to do two things. We want to set up a UTM code within Google Analytics. It'll enable us to track this, and we need to embed that tracking code directly in uh, our thank you page. So that's what I've done here. I've just simply copied and pasted this. UTM code uh, directly from uh, my uh, my uh, URL builder in Google Analytics, and I just simply copy and paste it in here. And now I'm able to go into my Google Analytics and set up a trackable um, goal in there for the thank you page, and also for our call rail account where we're tracking the phone numbers. The benefit to um, the user is that we can now create split testing where we can put two phone numbers up against each other, maybe um, uh, change up uh, a particular uh, headline or a particular statement that we're making as a call to action and just split test them against each other to see uh, which one outperforms the other. But the beauty of that is, you know, if we if we're getting 15 calls from one ad and only two from the other, well, maybe that ad's outperforming the other one, and we should um, we should uh, 
not be spending as much money on those uh, keywords for the, the poorly performing phone call uh, ad. So, so that's the benefit of that. And as I said before, um, if we were to look at email integration, you can see here, I haven't set up the thank you page to have in email integration because it's not really the form. So in order for me to do that, um, like example, if this was a form, all I would have is I just go down to where my MailChimp account is, is previously set up here, click MailChimp list. I want to add this list to my set to my list and I want to get in touch with a uh, list from Colin. Mm. Yeah. And now you can see I'm connected. So now it's already connected to my MailChimp uh, API. This took me uh, two sec, like, you know, five seconds to do on the ClickFunnels side. And it, the first time I did it in MailChimp, it took me about five minutes to get it set up with no experience at all. And the next time I did it, it took me about two minutes. To do. Yeah, I've I've done a similar thing recently, also with Mailchimp, and the yeah uh, yeah the the integration, the ease of integration with these leading platforms is is really very easy nowadays. Yeah, there's no you know like one of the the, the things that I, and this is even as much as maybe six months ago, um, you had to do all these special integrations. You had to build. You had to be building and managing all these paid tools outside of, um, you know, you had to have a lead pages account, you had to have a MailChimp account, you had to have all these paid accounts. And now um, ClickFunnels is giving you that ability to um, have a one-stop shop for all of your lead pages. And the benefit here too is you don't even need a website anymore. You, you could run, you could set up, um, here I'll, I'll take you out to, um, let me just go back out here. Okay, so, so th this was a, like you said, a, sh a short funnel, just it was a squeeze yeah. page with a, a form and a sign up, but you're also tracking uh, telephone conversions, which is really, really important. So exactly. So it, it, but it'll support some much kind of longer or, or more complex types of funnels, yeah. Yeah, and, and the big thing that people have to be aware of is that um, I think it's close to 60% of all um, transactions or, or related purchases of services or products are now being done from mobile devices. So you just can't ignore that market anymore. Uh, one of the, and one of the caveats here is that they haven't overcomplicated this. I know in lead pages, lead pages has a lot of choices right now. Um, and it's, it's adding a layer of complexity to an application that doesn't need to be complicated. And I think that's the big benefit of ClickFunnels is that they've really, they really dumbed down the process, simplified how to set up your sales funnels right from the get-go, and they've given you um, in their in this particular package, they've given you uh, an opt-in lead funnel, sales funnel, um, a webinar funnel, auto webinar funnel, membership funnel, uh, a launch funnel, and a cut uh, the custom funnel. Now, if I'm, I think you have to upgrade to get access to the custom funnel, if I'm not mistaken. But let's just look at, at um, obviously, the process for something like you're doing, Ben, where, where you're getting people to become members of your, of your tribe. Um, there's a simple registration sign-up form here that can be tied into a Stripe account or a PayPal, uh, and you have your membership area. So you can actually create a membership area from this, this, app, this tool. Mm. It's it's that it's that straightforward, um, and that can be done not in days or weeks, but in in an afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. so it's really yeah yeah. So it's real, it's really compressed the amount of time. And as if you're a consultant, I mean, as an example, I did this two page opt in sales funnel for this client in Toronto, and let's just say. I mean, I'm not going to give you the exact number I build, but let's just say you give him a number of, you charge him $500 to, bu to build a landing page. Uh, ClickFunnels cost to me is $97. Um, and so I, I'm able to profit $400 for one hour of work. That's a pretty good return for me. Yeah, because um, otherwise it might have taken you two days. 
Yeah, if I had to home, hand code that, I would be losing money. I, yeah. would, I would have to charge the client three times as much to to make to make that four hundred dollars back. So, yeah, so absolutely. a lot of benefits. Very quick, simple, easy to use. Um, I can't say enough positive things about it. The other positive thing, and and, and that's something I should also raise, is um, if we switch over to the WordPress account this is what you're seeing in the back end of WordPress um, obviously um, Ben has uh, had previous videos on um, on, a, on a theme and content builder that um, he is seems to be crazy about and I, I, I can admit that I'm crazy about um, thrive themes um, which the reason why I use this tool also is that, it's, that it has a WYSIWYG editor but it also simplifies the process of integrating iframes into WordPress. Um, the problem with WordPress currently is when you import a, a, an iframe into, uh, into the standard editing page of WordPress, you have to put it in this text box. You have to copy and paste your code in here. And when you update it, it's going to create a box within your page that is looks more like a frame with a slider on it so it really doesn't look that pleasing to the eye so when you look at uh, when you go into the content builder of, of Thrive themes you see a similar editor to what you have in uh, ClickFunnels but uh, the benefit here is I can just put in a custom HTML code which is here which will give me my iframe and all I do is I just simply go into the iframe itself and add in more pixels to the height to adjust for mm -hmm. it, that this frame will fit pr uh, properly. Um, and then I preview the page and, and it looks great. You know, it, it's, it's simple, um, it's nice and clean, and it gives me all the, the elements um, clearly defined, and it, and it works. So as you can see, I mean, I'm just doing a little test here just to show you how nice this is working and I guess it will let you specify whether fields are required or not and you know customize yep. your error messages and stuff like that so there's my thank you page right mm -hmm. and, uh, and and then everything is tracked so if I go over to my MailChimp account and here's my MailChimp account and here is the subscriber Brian McFarlane who just came in Fantastic. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it all just works as it's meant to. It just works fluidly. <laughs> so so that's it in a nutshell. And the nice thing about this is all you have to do is just go into your MailChimp account, uh, you know, maybe once a week uh, and make sure that, uh, you know, that things are coming in as they are. Make sure that those emails are all forwarding to your client or forwarding to you. And uh, follow up with those leads and, and, you know, and this client is going to be selling a lot of real estate. Fantastic. So, yep. yeah, thank you so much for that, Brian. I think just to just to put this in some context, then, um, <clears throat> if you need a a funnel building, a squeeze funnel, or or an opt-in funnel, or whatever, um, I I, from, I would say this is a rip, a powerful, uh, quite heavyweight tool. But that doesn't mean it's difficult to use. It looks very easy to integrate. The visual editor I love. I think it's superior to Lead Pages Visual Editor by by a long way and gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, it makes Lead Pages look like a kind of a, a quick quick version of this, but uh, you know, yep. I, I I'm certainly very very impressed. So and it, you know under a hundred dollars a month, each uh, to you to set up you know multiple funnels. I think this should be a should be a no brainer for for many marketers. You just gotta just gotta make sure you use it. Yeah, and and um, I just find like I, I do local pay per click advertising for small businesses, and um, they all need a landing page. So, and they don't have they don't have um, you know a a three thousand to five thousand dollar budget to build a website. Yeah. So they might just need to have uh, an initial sales funnel for their business to get them started. Once you get them income coming in, then they're more likely to upgrade with you than to go somewhere else. Like to, they'll they'll come back to me and say, "Okay, Brian, you know, 
our, our ads are doing really well. We're doing we're making a, a reasonable amount of money. We want to reinvest now. We want to upgrade. We'd like to purchase a website from you. We'd like to purchase other services from you. And, 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 and as a consultant, it just makes my life a lot easier to be able to, to offer those things to people. And, and, and that goes out to the tribe that's here and also to the people who are business owners themselves. Uh, there's only so many hours in the day. And if you're a business owner uh, who works 12 to 14 hours a day on your business, um, you don't want to be spending three days on building a landing page. So if you have a spare hour at lunch, you can create a landing page for your business with this tool. Yeah, and, and even if you've got the skills, maybe you don't yep. need them. You know, they, it makes them re redundant. And here's what's interesting. I mean, you describe yourself as a, a local pay-per-click specialist, you know. Um, so really what's happening now is that we're, we're all becoming marketers, and, and our job is to deliver marketing campaigns, uh, you, you'll hear this again and again, we're delivering marketing campaigns, not websites. Website is just yes. one piece. And what, what you've done here in minutes can replace a website. You know, a few years ago, people would have charged thousands, literally thousands of dollars for what you've been able to do for under a hundred bucks in a couple of hours. Right. So yeah, yep. great, great tool. Um, definitely one to keep an eye on. Brian, thank you so much again for your time. It's been, a, it's You're been welcome, really, ben. really enlightening. Thanks, thanks. All right, take care, everyone. Cheers, bye-bye. Bye for now.